In today's video, we are taking a look at how to make frozen bubbles in a super chilled environment indoors. Guys, you may have seen videos on YouTube where people have been able to freeze bubbles outdoors in extremely cold conditions. Well, I wanna try that today. Only problem is, it's not that cold outside. So we're gonna try it indoors using a few different ingredients. Here's the basic idea. Using liquid nitrogen, dry ice, and regular bubble solution, we're going to see if we can freeze bubbles indoors. If that works, we're gonna scale it up with some different kinds of bubbles. To start off, we have to make our bubble solution. So I have seen different recipes online of how to make the best bubbles for freezing. Now what I'm gonna start out with is dish soap, glycerin, and some actual bubble mixture and see if we can get something that's gonna actually hold its shape and freeze. As you may have seen in the past, we are just making a solution. Starting out with water, we're gonna add a little bit of actual bubble solution, some glycerin to help with surface tension of the bubbles, and Dawn dish soap. You don't really need more than a few drops of glycerin. It'll go a long way. As for Dawn dish soap, I've got about a half cup of water here, so I'm gonna add maybe a tablespoon and a half. All right, well, that part's easy. So in the past, you may have seen that Grant has actually floated bubbles on top of dry ice in a bowl. So we're gonna start out with that concept. We can get the bubbles to float over the surface, but I need them to actually touch down and freeze. They may freeze to dry ice sometimes, but it's not necessarily as cold as we need it to be. So we're gonna add some liquid nitrogen. So I only needed a little bit of dry ice, but I really like dry ice. So just to start out with, I'm gonna add a little bit of water, and I just wanna get those vapors a little thicker. <laughs> That's what they're supposed to do. Perfect, we've had a few little floating bubbles now. We have a couple of bubbles that are actually trying to settle on the surface of the solidified dried ice here. So we can get those bubbles to more or less hover in place, resting on the carbon dioxide. Now what we want is actually to get them to freeze. So there's a few things that I wanna take into account if I wanna try and freeze the bubbles in this bowl. Now they are floating on top of the carbon dioxide and some of them are even touching the dry ice, but they're not getting cold enough to freeze. So if I wanna add liquid nitrogen to this, we're still going to have a slight problem. They may touch things and they may pop and I don't want that to happen. Bubbles actually like soft fabric. They'll land on it and they won't necessarily pop. So we're going to pour some liquid nitrogen into the bowl with the dry ice, put a towel over the top to create a super chilled ambient environment for these bubbles and hopefully freeze them on contact. See if we can make this work. <laughs> Okay, well, first off, that just makes me happy. Perfect. Already, this towel is too cold for me to comfortably touch, which is awesome. I can't leave it there for more than a few seconds, so that should be cold enough for us to freeze some bubbles in. Let's find out. All right, well, we've got a few. Oh, we've got one, stayed. Oh, it froze, it froze! It broke, but it froze. It sort of froze as it was breaking. That's a frozen bubble in the kitchen. So we're gonna try that again. I wanna get this down to a perfect art form. I want these bubbles to land in there to freeze without popping. So we're gonna need more liquid nitrogen. I'm gonna need some more dry ice. That is very cold. <laughs> Wow, even up there, it's already freezing a little bit. Okay, don't float away that fast. Holy cow, even around the edges, like a full half bubble here. This bubble's actually holding the vapor from the dry ice inside it. As the, uh, the surface of the towel is getting covered in soap and as it's freezing, uh, it's no longer that soft surface that bubbles want to stick to. I'm not really sure what to do about that, so I'm going to try something else. I want to blow a bubble, see if I can catch it and actually lower it down. This is going to be very cold, but I think I can make it work because I've got some fleece lined gloves, so those should be pretty good. Perfect. Guys, if this works, I'm going to be thrilled. I had a frozen bubble in my hand. That was the coolest. I'm doing that again. All right, right off the bat, it's not cold enough. 
because I've got my hand resting on the towel. It did freeze. You can just see it's just sort of shrinking apart. If you've ever blown a bubble, you know that's not normally what they do. They don't do this awesome cracking thing. As much as we love our nitro black gloves, they do not mix well with the bubbles. Oh, froze my fingers through the glove. Oh, that was fun. Okay, moving on. That bubble froze while floating. <laughs> it's still floating and it's frozen. So I have to blow a bubble, catch it, lower my hand into liquid nitrogen, and then grab the light so we can see it. It's not a stressful thing at all as I hold the bubble wand backwards. All right, tiny bubble. It froze. Awesome. So you can freeze bubbles in your hand. Oh, and as soon as I take it out of that really cold environment, down it goes, nice. Hey guys, so I stole Nate. So we had this idea where we're actually making the air super chilled as it's blowing into the bubbles. That way the uh, gases inside aren't going to contract so that that way when they hit the carbon dioxide and the liquid nitrogen, they're less likely to pop in the bowl. As soon as it touches, just, just my fingertip is enough to warm it up and break that shell. That was awesome. We are able to freeze bubbles in a bowl in the kitchen. I wanna try a few other types of bubbles. In the past, we have made bubbles filled with carbon dioxide. I wanna see if we can make those bubbles full of a, a vapor, see if we can freeze those too. All right, so we have a few obstacles that are going to make this a little bit more difficult. Normally, when you have dry ice in a closed container, to build up enough pressure for it to actually blow bubbles through the tubing, you need to put hot water in the dry ice. As we've already seen, our bubbles are lasting a lot better when we are blowing super chilled air into the bubble itself before it lands in the container. So I don't want to use hot air to cause the vapor that's going to make the bubble. I'm hoping if I add enough dry ice, we can still build up enough pressure with cold water, make some decently chilled bubbles before they ever even touch the liquid nitrogen. So just with that amount of dry ice and dry ice powder, we're actually already getting a nice sublimation, so it should actually work. Let's get more liquid nitrogen in here, see if we can free some boo bubbles. All right, I'm gonna try something different this time. I'm not gonna put the towel down to try and catch it. I'm gonna try and just hold one of the boo bubbles, lower my hand down, not touch the surface of the liquid nitrogen and see if I can get it to freeze in my hand. Oh my gosh, you guys. It worked, it worked. I mean, it broke really quickly, but it worked. So we're gonna do it again until we get it right. That was awesome. So interestingly enough, these ones are hissing when they hit. All right, we're gonna try and cover this up and see if we can see it on the black fabric a little bit better. Now these aren't gonna necessarily float because this is you know, carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide. I'm just hoping that they won't break on contact with the fabric. Got one. That was amazing. <laughs> this is like the strangest tightrope act of making sure that this water is hot enough to actually make enough vapor, make sure that this is cold enough, and make sure that the two are actually going to work together. <laughs> but we can do it. There, got one. Oof. All right, my favorite part about these bubbles that are full of the carbon dioxide is that they are hissing as they break. 
I wasn't hearing that sound from the last ones and that's just awesome. That's just cool. So now I have just an entire pile of frozen bubbles. I'm gonna try and lift them out and they're just going to melt apart in my hands when I pull them out of this super chilled environment. Bubble glass. Oh, that's awesome. Can you freeze bubbles in your kitchen? Yes, you can, if you have access to liquid nitrogen. So I was able to get this to work with just dry ice too. You don't have nearly as high of a success rate, but you can get some of those bubbles to freeze on impact. If you try, if you manage to snag a photo of that, we want to see, make sure to send us that photo on Instagram, hashtag the king of random. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. This box up here at the top will take you to our latest video, and that box at the bottom is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. Hit that bomb in the middle to subscribe to the club. Don't forget to ring that bell so you never miss out on the fun, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.